Let's go through a really important A-level physics question. And the examiner's report quoted that these strong candidates were able to score full marks on the last part. The question is on one of my favorite topics and that is quantum physics. First part, define the work function. This is the minimum energy required to release an electron from the surface of a metal. Part B, we're given that the work function of potassium is 2.3 electron volts. Electrons are emitted when blue light is incident on it. However, extremely intense red light produces no electrons. We need to explain those observations in terms of photons and their energy. Firstly, we need to compare the value of the energy of these photons with the work function. In the case of blue light, because electrons are emitted, the energy of the photons of blue light must be greater than the work function. And this is where the particle nature of light really comes in. The emission of electrons is independent of the intensity. Whether an electron is emitted or not does not depend on the intensity, but simply on the wavelength of the incoming light and hence its energy, because the energy of the photon is equal to hc over lambda. Blue light has a shorter wavelength, meaning that it has a higher energy for each individual photon. And each individual photon can only interact with an individual electron. There is a one-to-one -one interaction. We can never have a situation when we have a billion red photons that interact with a single electron and make it escape. Next part, we're given that light with a wavelength of 320 nanometers is incident on a potassium plate. What we need to figure out is the de Broglie wavelength of the emitted electrons. Actually, Confusing the symbols in this equation is a very common mistake in A-level physics. The wavelength of the particle, in this case the electron, is given by Planck's constant h divided by p, which stands for the momentum of the electron, its mass multiplied by its velocity. So to work out lambda, we really need the velocity or the momentum of those electrons. We can work this out directly from the kinetic energy using Einstein's equation. The energy of the photon, hc over lambda, is shared. Some of that energy goes into releasing the electron from the surface of the metal, and that's the work function term, and some of it is transferred to its kinetic energy. Rearranging for the kinetic energy, we get that this is equal to hc over lambda, take away the work function. Plugging in some numbers, we can calculate that the kinetic energy is around 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. And if we have the kinetic energy of the electron, we have its velocity, and if we rearrange Ke being equal to a half mv squared, for the velocity, substitute all the values, we're going to get around 7.46 times 10 to the power of 5 meters per second. We're absolutely not done yet because our final step determining the wavelength is going to be substituting those values into lambda is equal to h divided by mv. And if we do that, we're going to get around 9.8 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. One of the best ways to prepare for exams is to look at common mistakes and this is precisely why you absolutely need to click on this video right over here.